welcome to a new video of your favorite band store. My name is Joost Appelboom and today we're at Pelican with Jana, the global product manager of Pelican. Hello. Well, Thank welcome. you for having us. Thank You're you for so the welcome. wonderful uh, tour through the production. We've seen a lot of cool stuff, a lot of also new products, so that's really exciting. <laughs> um, before we start the interview, we always do a pen check. So, which pen are you carrying with you today? Um... Today I have uh, with me the 405 mm -hmm. and uh, to be honest it's my first uh, FNIP I'm writing with so okay. it's for me it's not really an everyday pen but there are days I really like to write with so today it's the 405 in uh, blue and silver trimmings. Beautiful. What, what the ink is inside? Um, to say really it's uh, the most original one, mm -hmm. it's the 4001 in uh, Royal Ink. Oh wow, Royal that's Blue. really yes. impressive, yeah. yeah. Because it fits to the, to the pen itself. That's true. Are you a collector yourself? Um, where does collector start? So I have more than one pen. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say that I'm a specialist, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I have more than one pen, so I would say I'm a collector. Okay. Maybe a hidden collector. <laughs> What is it about fountain pens that really fascinates you? Um, I think it's everything. It's a bunch of things because um, the writing itself, I think mm -hmm. my handwriting is not really beautiful, but mm -hmm. I like it with the fountain pen. Yes. I like the writing experience. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the handling itself. So I like to fill it with ink mm -hmm. and start to write. And I, what I really like is to change the ink color depending on the mood I have. So um, sometimes it's really classy. Mm -hmm. uh, the blue ink I have right now in this pen, but sometimes I really like to write with pink or with other shiny colors. So on a sunny day you can have a different color exactly. than on a rainy day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or the other way around. If it's a rainy day, That's I take true. the shiny colors. That's true. Yeah. Uh, since how long are you part of the Pelican flock? Oh my god. Do you really want to know? I have to yes, say. of course. Okay, this year it will be uh, the 20 years mm -hmm. I'm with the Pelican team. Mm -hmm. uh, it includes uh, yeah, my, my education at Pelican. Mm -hmm. And so, um, to be honest, I never it's wanted to be... It's quite a long be... time. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, so I couldn't imagine when I started that it will be so long. Mm -hmm. um, but it, my, my um, tasks within Pelican changed a lot, so I um, had really interesting times and different projects I'm yeah, working with. I started in the school segment for okay. marketing, um, and then I had a short term off because I was in the States, and then I came back, and then I started with fine writing. Okay. And I'm really happy to work in this area, to be honest. It's really... What does the word Pelican mean to you if you're working for that long for the company? Um, it's a big we, it's a big us, it's mm -hmm. a big, um, it's more than just being a brand, mm -hmm. but uh, even talking internally with our teams we have, it's always um, a saying of we have to solve that and it's for us, it's not saying it's for the market, of course it is for the market, mm -hmm. but everybody wants to find a solution mm -hmm. for to be there as a big family and giving it out, so um, it's, it's really um, a big and intense feeling. Mm -hmm. with working for the brand. If you wouldn't have worked for Pelican, what other work would you have done? Hmm. That's interesting, because when I started uh, to work, I wasn't sure about the direction. Mm -hmm. um, I had something in mind uh, with tourism, mm -hmm. traveling the world. Um, but to be honest, when I had the first interviews in Pelican, I was sure I would like to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm so happy that I'm uh, in the global marketing team. Yeah, so sure. it so you still it see a little bit of the world? But exactly, exactly. And uh, when I started at Pelican, it was something like, um, maybe I won't go to marketing because everybody wants to do marketing, mm -hmm. but at the end, I'm here. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the, the job was not so bad I'm doing, mm -hmm. so I guess. So um, yeah, I'm really You're happy. You're in a good place. Yeah. I think so. Pelican has a, has a large history. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a few milestones of that history, a brief history oh, about how much, Pelican? How much time do we have? Um, well, so. we have about two hours, so that's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, two hours, <laughs> we'll fit. Um, so maybe the first and biggest milestone is the origin date of uh, founding Pelican. Mm -hmm. It was Karl Hornemann. He was a chemist that time and selling um, colors, fluid mm -hmm. colors. It was 1838, so uh, last year we had the celebrating of 180 years, and that's really a large history, I think. Yeah. It's, a, it's 
history or more called heritage. So mm-hmm. it's, it's a big, big time. Um, and then Günther Wagner was joining the company a few la- years later and he was giving um, the branding. So till these times, uh, Karl Hohnemann was only, only selling the, the colors, the mm-hmm. fluid colors, just with the numbers. Mm-hmm. So um, with the 4001, uh, 3001, these times were already existing. Mm-hmm. And um, so maybe it's according to the recipes. We don't know exactly, but I, I think that's one of the parts why he was choosing or why he was choosing those numbers. Mm-hmm. And uh, Günther Wagner said, okay, if we are selling the, the products worldwide, there should be um, a brand on it so that everybody knows where it comes from. And uh, the Pelican Crest was a Christian sign. Mm-hmm. He had for his family and he felt uh, very into it. So talking about the company, there was always uh, a we already yes. these times. And in these days, uh, the family crest had three little chicks, mm-hmm. but his wife was expecting the fourth one. So that's why he was uh, giving the pelican a uh, fourth chick. Okay. So in these days, yeah, the pelican branding, so to say, had fourth chicks. And that's why he um, yeah, was giving the company this crest. Mm-hmm. This branding, the first branding. And Another milestone was the piston filling mechanism. Yes, exactly. Um, so um, in these days, it was very hard to write with a fountain pen mm-hmm. because you had no um, no safety that the ink comes as you like it to be. So a lot of ink or no ink, and so several companies tried to do something, and mm-hmm. there were some products that worked out. But uh, a milestone in these days was really the invention of the differential piston mechanism because. Um, there was a guy um, offering this patent, it mm-hmm. was uh, Theodor uh, Kovac, okay. and he was offering to different companies his, his patent and saying, Correct. I've invented something, and would you like to have it? And a lot of companies said, mm, no, we are pretty far with our own development. Mm-hmm. And in these days, um, Fritz Beindorf, mm-hmm. another guy, a very milestone guy in the, in the history of Pelican, he was saying, yes, I believe in that. Mm-hmm. That could be really um, innovative for the market. And that's what happened. It was so far developed that it worked out from the first first minute. And we haven't changed close to nothing mm-hmm. uh, till these days. So yeah, the from material. the from the main uh, the main sketch, it's exactly. still about the same. Exactly. Wow. So um, yeah, and if you like to, I can explain what what happens inside the pen. So um, I'm not a technician, but mm-hmm. I try. I can do so. <laughs> so. Um, the really innovative thing was to put the, the nip into the ink bottle mm-hmm. and turn with this uh, end knob. And just a small turn was a big turn inside. That's why mm-hmm. it's called differential piston mechanism. So turning just a little bit was giving inside a lot of way to suck in the, the ink. And so mm-hmm. it was really innovative these days because mm-hmm. it was an everyday writing instrument. Mm-hmm. Um, innovation and integrity are shared values within a company. How are they incorporated within the company and the products? Whoa, that's a pretty tough question. So, and a lot of uh, things to tell around that. Mm-hmm. So, um, innovative. So, as I said right now, um, when we launched the first piston mechanism, we mm-hmm. um, not changed so many things, technical wise. But in material wise, we of course change to the newest materials that will mm-hmm. make it even more, um, more modern mm-hmm. and uh, the newest technical standard. So um, in the in the early products we had uh, a cork inside, but now we know that's not working out because it's drying, mm-hmm. and uh, so we have to use more innovative material. So um, on the other hand, we try to be so classy as we were always because Pelican is a very classy and traditional brand. Mm-hmm. On the other hand we um, yeah, are keeping those core values we have within the family crest I was explaining. So mm-hmm. Christian sign was the Pelican bird stands with its chicks for taking care and uh, that's what we do for our customers as well. So um, we really want to have highest quality for our products and uh, there's a hundred percent check before we give it out and it's also felt with everything we do outside so it feels um, very close the brand itself feels mm-hmm. very close and when we talk about product and re- reliability this is really close to um, our core values we have for the pelican brand and um, 
just think about the 1005 Stresemann. So mm -hmm. um, we, decided, we decided not to launch it because there was one small piece that was not uh, fulfilling our expectations. Mm -hmm. It was a very hard and tough decision, to be honest. I can understand. And um, because we had to do it twice because, yeah. It, it still wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. And mm -hmm. so it was tough, but I think we did the right thing to yeah. say uh, it is postponed to a later date, but now we've worked it out. I think you did the right job. Yeah, thank you very much. About uh, talking about innovation, mm -hmm. uh, the Pelican Hubs, uh, that was also a really oh, yes. innovative uh, project uh, in 2014, I think. Right? Uh, the, the, first, the first one? The first half, yes, it was. Yes, it was 2014. And this year there are uh, over 200 cities participating. Exactly. Uh, how did that uh, idea came up? Um, the idea came up just... Uh, it was really uh, going into um, the, the wishes and the expectations of our customers. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we experienced is talking about products was really opening their hearts. And so we had the idea just to, to offer this kind of date and uh, yeah, as you have a date with a friend yeah. and saying we will meet and it was a nice idea to have all those friends meeting on one day, one time, all over the world. And to be honest, internally um, it was uh, very critical because yeah. uh, some people say, um, what do you think? Are they really coming or is it just an idea? <laughs> and so when we started with the first year, it was just a project. And we mm -hmm. were expecting to do it once and nice, but we won't do it again. Yeah. But after the first event, it was a real hype and everybody wants uh, to know what's the next date mm -hmm. for the next years. And so we started with 900 people for the first half, what's mm -hmm. even amazing for the first half. Yeah. And now we are close to 6,000 pe people who are wow. joining the hub. That's and, crazy. Uh, yeah, that's really crazy. And um, there is no official hub team <laughs> inside okay, the marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, team, so there is a very um, busy time organizing mm -hmm. everything. It's really fun because it's really giving you a lot of energy, mm -hmm. um, receiving those um, feedbacks and saying, yes, I'm looking forward to that and I really would be part of that. Um, yeah, but it's it's a small team who is organizing everything and it's really worth it in the mm -hmm. end. Everybody's happy and um, yeah, for us it's the best idea ever. But it's developing and it's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine it's fun to organize such an event <laughs> yeah, for fan enthusiasts. Yeah, it is. So, but a big thank thanks for for all the people who are organizing it mm -hmm. locally because uh, we have those hub masters, mm -hmm. and um, that there are people who are saying yes, I would like to be the hub master. I would like to take care about the group of people yeah. who is uh, really looking forward to enjoy the evening. And so, a big thank you for all those people because mm -hmm. we are giving the platform. But it's an event from fans for fans. So, yeah. so at the end, it's not really Pelican that is organizing no, it. No, but really. it's more, uh, yeah. We are the idea giver, yeah. so to say. And they, yeah, they are totally fans of it. Perfect. That's a good thing. Yes. Let's talk a bit, little bit more about the products. Mm -hmm. um, the first uh, limited edition series that comes to mind mm -hmm. is The Wonders of the World. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is still one missing. Mm -hmm. You know which one? Yes, I know, because uh, I just have it in project, on my oh, project wow. list to do. It's uh, the um, Monument like of Halicarnassus. Yeah. Um, it's not the so mausoleum. easy. Yes. The Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, yes. exactly. And it's not so easy because uh, it's a uh, grave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so it will be uh, interesting to create the, the product itself. Mm -hmm. um, but I have some nice pictures in mind already and a nice nice color version. So I'm really looking forward to that. But it's it's a task. It's a when, challenge. Do you, when do you think it's coming out, more or less? Uh, it depends how fast I am. Yeah. <laughs> we um, already have a, a timeline, mm -hmm. of course we do. Um, yeah, but it will, won't be so so far. Within five future. years? Of course it will be. Within five years? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So everybody who has six pens right now, the seventh one is Definitely. It's on his way. Pelican won't okay. change history, so there will be a seventh pen, yes. That's good. Yeah. Um, another series of the limited edition series of Pelican, which is uh, amazing, is the Machia versions. Oh, yes. Yes. How is that uh, cooperation between a German uh, pen manufacturer and a Japanese artist? How was that 
uh, created? Mm, um, in former days, it was an idea of our Japanese uh, partner. Mm -hmm. He's very into it because he knows his own traditions and he asked for that. And uh, the maki'i is the technique. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very common. Um, and he had the idea to put it on the pelican pants. Mm -hmm. And so he has a close um, relationship with the artists in, in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it's, it's really... Uh, every time a new new um, experience to talk about the maki'i because we are asking maybe you can do more or is it, is it possible because there are so many expectations from the market mm -hmm. and he has to explain there is a, a certain um, art and a certain um, experience behind that it's not so easy just to do more it's, it's even mm -hmm. not possible because it takes so much time and the maki'i technique is given from generation to generation and they say you are best of it at the time when you have to stop it because you're too old. Yeah. So it's not only about having one, two, three, four artists painting mm -hmm. the pen. It's just one artist. Because if you would have different artists on one edition, doesn't you have a sense. limited edition in the limited yeah, edition. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make so, sense. Um, and now he has a real close relationship to all these artists. And that's how it grew. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people didn't know how, how it's working. Or how, how many pieces can uh, one artist make within a month, <laughs> oh, more or less? With, within a month? Oh, um, that's a very tough question because it depends on the motive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's really um, complex. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure. It depends on different steps. Sometimes mm -hmm. to, it has to dry before it can just go on. Um, that are not so many. I'm not quite sure, but um, just a handful of pens. Mm -hmm. Even if maybe it's it's less. So it's not, uh, not, a not a mass production oh, of no. oh, thousand no, pieces not. or something. It's no. really like just a few pens each exactly. one that can be made. Okay. So uh, think about he's doing in one and a half years 123 pens. Yeah. So um, maybe we are just talking about two pens a month. Yeah. I don't know. So um, yeah, it's it's, it's quite impressive. a lot of work. Yeah. And they are not um, a mass producer. Mm -hmm. They are very keen on doing it very exactly. So a nice it's also important. That. At the end of the day, it still is a piece of art. Exactly. That's why it's so limited. Yeah. <laughs> um, another question about production. Mm -hmm. um, I already heard the good news, but maybe you can share it with everybody. Okay. Right now, you only have extra fine, fine, medium, and broad nibs for. Mm -hmm. All the editions, but I heard some rumors. Oh, really? You did? Yeah, about. Let me share that. Other nips. Other nips? Yeah. Okay, what kind of rumors did you hear? I don't know, something about Italic or something like that. Yes, yes. Uh, we received a lot of um, questions mm -hmm. why we don't offer more than those uh, four basic nips. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we will have the BB nip and the IB nip back in the assortment as a spare part mm -hmm. for series 800. Okay, because back in the days you already had them, right? Yes, we had them yes. in the past, exactly. Okay, and what was the main reason uh, to stop producing them? Um, we experienced that it's very niche. Mm -hmm. There are some people saying, yeah, it's, it's really nice, but at the end I will write with an M nib or mm -hmm. with an EF nib or something uh, that's more basic, more yeah. standard, because um, if you just take a look on the assortment, close to every uh, handwriting style, small letters, large letters, wide or narrow, mm -hmm. um, there is something from EF to B that f covers everything. It's mm -hmm. like that. But special, special, and to be the one who has a really special nib, they go for B or IB. So um, in these days we said, okay, we can cover with EF to B, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it's really interesting for the collectors to have more than that. Yeah, yeah that was the idea when we stopped it, that we have the make a wish nib, mm -hmm. so that you have really, especially for your handwriting, the optimal um, solution. Mm -hmm. But now we offer the BB and IB nib again for series 800 and 805, so BB will be completely and organized available as well. So that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, the make a wish nib, you already yeah. mentioned it. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, yes, so um, 
when you uh, first of all you are part um, if you like to be part of the Make a Wish Nish program, there's a schedule mm -hmm. uh, on our homepage. And to be honest, I've never experienced that before. In year 2019, everything is booked out. Okay. <laughs> we have never <laughs> had that before. So even in March or early April, we said, okay, there are no um, extra appointments They're available. Not places anymore. Yeah, and we already created extra appointments, mm -hmm. but they are booked out as well. So. Um, so be quick, 2020 <laughs> maybe you have to <laughs> Exactly, so the first half of 2020 <laughs> mm -hmm. is already available. What happens? So you say, okay, I've, I'm the lucky one, I have an appointment. Mm -hmm. um, then you will receive um, a sheet of paper where you have to um, say what, you have to write it manually, mm -hmm. of course, handwriting. What do you expect? Uh, left hand writing or right hand writing? Um, what kind of nib you are expecting? Uh, we have to see your handwriting, that's very important because our nib masters are analyzing this kind of writing. Um, and then you have to say which size. Mm -hmm. The larger the size, we start from 400 to uh, 1000. Mm -hmm. And the, the larger the nib, the more flexible it is, of, of course. course. Um, and then uh, we start to create your nib. It's mm -hmm. part of our process, so we have to arrange that in our normal production. There are our nib masters who have to have the time. Mm -hmm. And we finish the nib by 80-85% till the date you are arriving. Mm -hmm. And then you have one hour, just you alone with the nib master and trying to write with the nib. Mm -hmm. saying if It's it kind of like a therapy session. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit like that. Because sometimes uh, you don't even realize that you are putting the nib in a special way on the paper. So. Mm -hmm. um, That can be tricky because if you are a collector and writer since 30 years and now you hear that you maybe should do it in another way, it can be like yeah. a therapy. <laughs> But when you're open to it, it's totally fine and it's really an experience. And I've done that by myself because mm -hmm. I want to know how it feels like. Yeah. And you're so focused and you're listening to, to the voice who is saying what to do. So it's really, really, really interesting. And sometimes the people don't even know what were they expecting mm -hmm. and um, we try to analyze if it's really that what they want to have um, but most of the times I think 99% we are matching the expectations that we are the yeah, at the end of the day of your personal uh, personal nip mm -hmm. exactly that's it so yeah. no nobody else nobody mm -hmm. uh, has this kind of nip and it's uh, yeah the, the last 15 or 10 percent are just made by hand, so mm. they are right. Just It's really impressive. Yeah, they're very fully doing work. Yeah. Um, I have some questions from our social media. Okay. The first one you already kind of answered, mm -hmm. but I will still ask it to you. The pelican within the logo, where does it come from? Um, then we are coming back to Gunther Wagner, to mm -hmm. the family crest. And uh, yeah, and we maybe that's a story I'm. A lot of time ask again because there were four chicks in the past. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. only one chick right yeah. now. There are a lot of rumors going there? on. What happened there? What happened there? One child <laughs> policy. Oh, no, no, no. It's not, not like that. Mm -hmm. um, we experienced that um, there are different developments in design during mm -hmm. the time. And Pelican uh, went this way as well. So tried to develop the brand to be in time on time again. So to be more modern. Mm -hmm. um, but then we realized when there were maybe too graphical. Um, a lot of people ask, what, what's that with the pelican bird? Are there uh, just uh, sticks from the nest or are there just small fishes or something? Mm -hmm. And so we decided that the, the core value of taking care um, is, is not, not seen and that's a pity. And so we created one visible chick. Mm -hmm. That's why it's only one anymore because okay. we needed the space uh, to present the brand, the pelican logo itself. Mm -hmm. So that's the main and the core reason for that. So there are no other <laughs> <laughs> stories behind that. Um, uh, you uh, came up with a lot of new designs for the M800 and the M600 lately, mm -hmm. new mm -hmm. colors. Mm -hmm. What um, decides, uh, how do you decide which color for which model? Um, interesting. Um, We decide that we uh, like to go for a strap material for Sulrin only. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what we did and say, okay, um, not going to the series 200. That's why we decided to have the strap material for 400 or 300 and 400 upwards. Um, 
sometimes uh, it's it's a question of the kind of material. Mm -hmm. Thinking about the ocean swirl, it has a lot of shades inside. And we wanted to give it a large body because then you see the deep color as well as the light color. And so some people were saying, hey, uh, if I turn it, um, on the one hand it's really dark and very lightful on the other hand. I think that's really that really makes the product. Mm -hmm. But um, they are maybe used to something like that, what yeah. looks close to um, the, same. the same on every side. But um, that was perfect for a larger size of a pen. So mm -hmm. that's why we have... Yeah, I decided to go for an 800. Okay. What makes a Pelican writer a Pelican writer? What are they looking into a Pelican fountain pen or writing instrument? Um, okay, so I'm part of the Pelican family, so yeah. I will know uh, from the... Pe or I would, I would say that from the Pelican point of view. Mm -hmm. um, I think what, what the Pelican writer um, is looking for, why he's buying a Pelican, mm -hmm. is um, a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. um, He's buying uh, the quality of the nibs, that he knows that he has really uh, a perfect uh, combination of uh, ink feeder and the nib itself, that the ink really flows smoothly on the paper, not too much, but not too less. Mm -hmm. It has a very quick start of writing. Um, he buys uh, a really piece of heritage. True. Um, he buys... Um, the, the feeling that he's part of the Pelican family, definitely. Mm -hmm. And he knows that we are really taking care about every detail. And so um, we decided lately, last year we went for it for our anniversary for, for Pelican Passion. Yeah. And we decided to go for that because it's not only um, internal Pelican Passion for creating these products, it's also a combination of the passion from the people outside. So for mm -hmm. of all those Pelican consumers who are nearly called Pelican fans, yeah. they are part of the brand. And so the passion combines those people uh, outside the company and uh, all those people inside. So it's a, yeah something like a bridge. And so I think that's really part of um, buying Pelican. It's not only, only a brand and mm -hmm. showing or showing off, it's, it's really going into the history of Pelican. Getting part of the flock. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's it. What do you think of the future of Pelican, and in particular of writing? Um, I think it will be a topic all the time. Mm -hmm. So the most asked questions I, I receive is, mm -hmm. oh really, you're working for Pelican, are the people still writing by hand, and handwriting is it still mm -hmm. common? And yes, it is. And it's even more. Um, talking about social media, new media, uh, it's no, no thinking of working without a PC at, the, at today's work. So, But um, calming down and trying to find some time for yourself and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, having fun with really refined products, that's, that's handwriting. And I think it's really important. It's... Maybe that's high end, and when you're grown up, you are with fine writing, but it starts in school already. So um, I know that um, Australia has once tried it without handwriting because they say you don't need it anymore. Just yeah. learn writing, uh, typing. Then that's it. And they tried it, but the connection of uh, some some nerves and synapses in in the brain it's mm -hmm. missing. So there's a hand and eye combination that's not really. Um, formed and developed and so I think that's really really important mm -hmm. and uh, some people are telling me that because it's it's getting faster and faster every day they want to calm down with the fine writing or handwriting because it's a kind of therapy that is again yeah, <laughs> yeah. but coming down and relaxing mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think it will be important it will ever be for always yes does it happen uh, often that you uh, that you are uh, in public and that you see someone writing with a pelican. And does that make you feel proud? That oh, yes, they are it does. Right? Yeah? Yes, it does. That yeah. they write with your designs? Yes. And um, even if it makes me more proud when they don't know that I'm from pelican. Mm -hmm. And I have to take care that I don't just stare on that product all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Try to, con to concentrate on the, uh, on the conversation I have. Mm -hmm. But of course, even... Um, when I watch TV and I see somebody handwriting, I try to see whether it's Pelican or another mm -hmm. brand. Yeah, it's like that. I can imagine. Yeah, because it's a kind of, to be honest, it's kind of um, our own baby, what we have yeah. created. So, given to the market that there's somebody who's really a fan of it and has it. So, yeah, I'm totally proud of that. I can imagine that.
Yeah. Um, you also had something with you for us to give away for our viewers. Yes, and um, I was thinking about that um, really intense. Mm -hmm. um, it comes a little bit from my own uh, favorite pen right now because okay. um, what I've shown you is this classy one we already have in the standard assortment. Mm -hmm. But I, I really like this combination. So um, that's why uh, we have decided to go for maybe not the small size, it's just for my hands. Yeah. Uh, we have decided to go for the 805, in the yeah. larger size. Um, we have that, I know, we have that in the standard assortment. It's not that I'm saying, wow, that's the latest news and you have never mm -hmm. seen that before. That's okay. Um, but the different shades of the blue inside the material, it's really stunning. And so um, from my point of view, it's a really beautiful product. And it really gives um, um, a really uh, topping, so to mm -hmm. say, with a completely rodinized uh, nib. And uh, because it's a larger nib, as I said, the larger it is, the smoother it rides. Mm -hmm. So um, the 800 nib always gives a smooth handwriting because it's so flexible. So for me, it would be the giveaway of the day. All right. Yes. And the good news is that if they want a double brought or italic nib, they can order <laughs> exactly, it after that. Yes, exactly. that's a good thing. So that's it. So you can change for that. Well, thank you so much. Uh, to win this pen, just subscribe to our channel and also subscribe to the channel of Pelican. Comment below what you think of the brand Pelican and then Two days after this, uh, after the upload of this video, we will announce the winner. Um, Jana, thank you so much for having us today for the factory tour for everything, uh, also for the giveaway, of course. It we is a pleasure. Also, have something special for you, all the way from the Netherlands. Oh, thank we have you this. very much. They are called stroopwafels. I don't know if you know them. Oh, I know them. Yes. Thank you very much. Shall I open it right now? Should we order a cup of coffee and I don't start know, right what, now? Whatever you like. <laughs> Um, thank you very much. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to win this beautiful Souverain Pelican pen, you know what to do. And uh, I hope to see you next time.